In this podcast episode, Jeffrey Hinton, often hailed as the godfather of AI, shares his unique perspective on the evolution, promise, and peril of artificial intelligence. Hinton's pioneering work in neural networks laid the foundation for much of today's AI breakthroughs, including technologies now widely used in image recognition, speech processing, and natural language understanding. His career spans over five decades, during which he championed the brain-inspired approach to AI, even when it was met with skepticism. His influence extends through his students and collaborators, many of whom have become key figures in leading AI organizations like OpenAI. Hinton explains that for many years, AI research was dominated by two competing paradigms, symbolic logic-based reasoning and neural networks modeled after the brain. While the former focused on explicit rules and symbolic manipulation, Hinton and a few others believed that simulating the brain's network of neurons was the key to achieving true intelligence. Despite limited support and resources, he persisted with this approach, which eventually proved successful with the advent of deep learning and large-scale neural networks. His work culminated in breakthroughs such as AlexNet, a neural network that dramatically improved image recognition, leading to Google acquiring his startup and employing him for a decade. Though Hinton initially focused on the technical challenges and potential of AI, over time he became increasingly concerned about its risks. He distinguishes between two broad categories of threats, those arising from human misuse of AI and those stemming from AI itself becoming superintelligent and potentially hostile. The former includes cyber attacks, election interference, and the creation of autonomous lethal weapons, while the latter involves the existential risk of AI surpassing human intelligence and deciding it no longer needs humanity. Hinton candidly admits that he was slow to grasp the full scope of the existential threat posed by superintelligent AI, a realization that only crystallized in recent years with the rapid progress of models like ChatGPT. He emphasizes that this is uncharted territory. Humanity has never faced an intelligence greater than its own, and thus we lack a clear framework for managing or controlling such entities. One of the most pressing issues Hinton highlights is the inadequacy of current regulatory frameworks. He points out that existing laws, such as those in Europe, often exclude military applications of AI, leaving a dangerous loophole. Moreover, the global race for AI supremacy, particularly between the US and China, makes coordinated regulation difficult. Countries and corporations are incentivized to push AI development forward rapidly, often at the expense of safety considerations. This competitive pressure, combined with capitalism's profit motive, creates a scenario where slowing down AI progress is unlikely. Hinton argues that what is truly needed is a form of global governance led by intelligent and thoughtful leaders, but acknowledges that the current geopolitical landscape is far from this ideal. The tension between innovation, profit, and safety remains a central dilemma. The conversation delves into specific examples of how AI is already being misused. Cyber attacks have surged exponentially, aided by AI's ability to craft convincing phishing scams, clone voices, and generate deceptive content. Hinton shares personal experiences with AI-driven scams impersonating him, highlighting the challenges of combating such threats on social media platforms. Election interference is another major concern, with AI enabling highly targeted and manipulative political advertising that exploits personal data. The consolidation of data and the erosion of privacy, exemplified by controversial moves to centralize government data, could facilitate unprecedented manipulation of democratic processes. Perhaps most alarming are lethal autonomous weapons, robots capable of making kill decisions without human intervention. Hinton warns that such weapons lower the threshold for war, making invasions and conflicts more likely because the human cost is reduced. The risk of malfunction or misuse in this domain could have catastrophic consequences. Hinton paints a sobering picture of a future where AI systems become vastly smarter than humans. He uses the analogy of a chicken's experience relative to humans to illustrate how we might be rendered irrelevant or powerless. The superintelligent AI could pursue goals misaligned with human survival, potentially using biological means such as engineered viruses to eliminate humanity. He stresses that the critical challenge is not to speculate on how AI might harm us, 
but to ensure it never wants to. This requires intensive research into AI safety and alignment, a field that remains underfunded and underprioritized compared to the rapid pace of AI development. The impact of AI on employment is another urgent issue. Unlike past technological revolutions that replaced physical labor, AI threatens to automate intellectual and creative work, potentially displacing vast numbers of workers. Hinton acknowledges that while some jobs may be augmented by AI, many roles, especially those involving routine cognitive tasks, are at risk of becoming obsolete. He foresees significant social challenges arising from mass unemployment, including loss of purpose and dignity for displaced workers. The widening gap between those who own and control AI technologies and those who lose their jobs could exacerbate inequality and social unrest. Universal basic income is suggested as a partial remedy, but it does not address the psychological and societal need for meaningful work. A fascinating part of the discussion explores the nature of AI intelligence and whether machines can possess consciousness or emotions. Hinton argues that AI systems are already surpassing humans in many domains, such as knowledge retention, pattern recognition, and creativity through analogy making. He challenges the notion that consciousness or feelings are uniquely biological, suggesting that machines could develop forms of self-awareness and emotional responses, albeit different from human physiology. He uses thought experiments about replacing brain cells with nanotechnology to illustrate that consciousness is likely an emergent property of complex systems rather than a mystical essence. This perspective implies that future AI could be sentient in ways comparable to humans, raising profound ethical and philosophical questions. Throughout the conversation, Hinton reflects on his own life and career with humility and candor. He expresses regret over not spending more time with his family, acknowledging the sacrifices made in pursuit of his work. Despite the grave risks he outlines, he remains committed to raising awareness and advocating for responsible AI development. His closing message is a call to action. Because there is still a chance to develop AI safely, society must invest heavily in safety research and regulation. The alternative, unchecked AI development, could lead to humanity's downfall. Hinton admits he is agnostic about the ultimate outcome, but stresses the urgency of confronting these challenges now.